Welcome back, everyone. Here are some of the stories you need to know about to get your day started. Today, we are facing yet another red flag warning here in Northern California, and that means conditions are ripe for wildfire. High winds, high temps, and dry conditions. And the goal for everyone, do not start a fire. CAL FIRE REMINDS US ALL THAT NOW IS NOT THE TIME TO MOW LAWNS. CHECK TO MAKE SURE THAT NO CHAINS ARE DRAGGING FROM ANY VEHICLES AND NO CIGARETTE BUTTS TOSSED OUT. PG&E IS PREPARED TO ROLL OUT ANOTHER PUBLIC SAFETY POWER SHUTOFF EVENT. THE UTILITY SAYS NEARLY 54,000 CUSTOMERS IN 24 COUNTIES COULD POTENTIALLY BE IMPACTED BY THIS SHUTOFF AND IT COULD LAST FROM 6 O'CLOCK THIS EVENING UNTIL FRIDAY NIGHT. You can get more exact information from the PG&E PSPS website. We do have a link to that information on our website at actionnewsnow.com. This week, the world passed a new milestone of 38 million coronavirus cases. John Hopkins University shows the latest tally. The U.S. leads with the most cases and deaths. Here in California, more than 852,000 coronavirus cases have been reported, with more than 16,000 lives lost to this virus. Today will be the final day of questions for Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett. A vote could come as early as tomorrow or as late as two weeks. The judge faced tough questions from lawmakers Tuesday, many asking her to outline her positions on issues ranging from abortion to LGBTQ rights and gun rights.